Yo, what's going on everyone? Working on a uh, customer's uh, 13 fishing reel. Uh, fixed the, the Paul worm gear. It was sticking to the side. It was pretty gummed up and pretty dirty, so I had to take it apart, flush it, and uh, I'm gonna re-oil and grease that. But he's also wanting a bearing upgrade. So I'm doing, just gonna show you how to do a bearing upgrade on the 13 fishing uh, reel. So you're gonna need the 3104 for the side plate and a 5114 for the spool. You're also gonna need a set of spool pin pliers if you do 13 fishings, if you do abus, um, lose, any reel that has a bearing on the shaft, you're gonna need the spool pin pliers to take the pin off and slide the bearing off. Um, I also use a pair of tweezers to get the clips off the side plate. Also using a hook, because I always take off the seals. As I've mentioned before in my other videos, these are just orange rubber seals. So um, humidity, heat, all that kind of stuff, they can kind of swell uh, being rubber. So I just take them off. I do it on all my reels, my own personal reels. Um, even some of the Shimano's come with no sealed bearings from the factory. So and then I'm gonna do one drop of oil per bearing. Before I install, uh, you can run them dry. They're just louder dryer. They're, they're when they're dry, they're just really loud. So I just do one drop, kind of cools them down. So take this retaining clip out. Hopefully this bearing comes out easily. A lot of times they get stuck. because they are super dry that pops off slide the new one in put the retaining clip back on that's good to go put the spool in here just to kind of get that oil mixed around in there And then the tricky part is the pin. A lot of these pins are tapered, so you have a thick side and a thin side. You always want to press on the thin side out um, so you don't damage the, the pin. And then with the spool pin, you just kind of line them up, press it softly. If they won't come out, I usually take a pair of like needle nose pliers pull the pin right out make sure the pin is in the same direction it came off slide the bearing off put the new bearing on gently squeeze you want to make sure that the uh, the pin is centered so that it's not on one side or the other or else you'll have a little bit of an issue on the pinion gear it'll probably knock or Not spin freely. So that is that. Also, I'm gonna just do a tad bit of oil on this metal brake ring here. This is where the, the brakes go on the reel. A lot of times it, it'll it make them squeal if they're too dry. Um, a lot of the Shimano's with the pin brakes, you'll, see, you'll hear them at the end of a cast, it'll kind of squeal, and that's just because of the uh, Teflon brakes on the metal. And then I'm going to install, do a drop of oil on the edge here, a little bit of grease. Get back on there. And there you go. And still too wobbly. Still too. Just making it so that not gonna slop 
out. But that is a bearing upgrade on a 13 fishing. I've got bearings in stock. Um, I always keep them in stock. 20 bucks a pair plus shipping. Um, I've also got one set of handle knives, but I've got pretty much all the sizes for 13s, loose, abus, all that kind of stuff. So smash that thumbs up, guys. Hopefully that helped. Um, got questions, post down below, and we'll talk to you guys later.